being what you are. Even if you're a sinner, you're not responsible for being a sinner. You're responsible for remaining a sinner. There is a way prepared for you. But to be a sinner, you was born that way. God doesn't send you to hell for being a sinner. God sends you to hell because you won't repent and take Christ as your Savior. You refuse to take the right road. You send yourself to torment. You send your own soul to its eternal destination upon the free moral agency of your own convictions. God does not send anyone to hell. He never did and he never will. Man send themselves to hell because they refuse to, to accept the way of salvation. God isn't, he's long suffering. He doesn't want any to perish. Never wanted it. But man rather walk in darkness than to walk in light. Reason of it is they, they are born in that condition and have no desire to take the light. Messengers come from east and west and north and south and throw barricades, song service, testimonies, preaching off the path of the sinner, and he deliberately walks right through. Then say that God is responsible or guilty. God is good and full of mercy, and he wouldn't want no one lost. But man wants to be lost because it's his desire. He refuses to walk in light. That's what makes him be lost. It's not easy to go to hell. It's hard to go to hell. God sends his messengers and he sends his prophets. He sends his gospels. He makes his churches a gaining fire and men constantly fight right over it. He sends it out over the ether waves of the radio. He sends it over the television. He sends it by the public word. He sends it from lips to ear. And men constantly walk right over it. But God sends his prophet the blanket. Why will you go to Satan? Do the Beelzebub. Is it because there is no prophet in Israel? Is there no God there? Is that the reason people today deliberately go to drunken parties, dance all night, gamble, cheat, try to make a lot of money? Is it because that there is no pleasure in God? Is it because there is no God to give pleasure? The very reason that you thirst for that is because that you're rejecting God. God made a man to thirst, but to thirst after him. And if you turn that down, you have to, the devil tries to satisfy that thirst with drinking and smoking and gambling and other things. Is it because we haven't got a Holy Spirit that brings joy? Is it because there's no satisfaction in Christ that we seek these things? He said, is out there a God down in Israel? Why would you go to the altar above the devil? Is there no pleasure in serving Christ? Is that the reason man continually drink and go to the church for our covering? You've never tasted the Lord yet. You've never known how good he was. If man ever come to the fountain filled with blood, gone from the annual things, what comes beneath that, the sins of the world and all the devil could offer would be as dead as midnight. It's because they refuse to do it because they refuse to receive the Holy Spirit. God's bomb is the reason they do. It reminds me of a man dying on a doctor's doorstep. 
a man die on a doctor's doorstep because that he refuses to take the remedy for his disease. If the doctor's got the remedy for your disease and you say, I won't take it, you can sit on his doorstep back close to it and you still die because you refuse the remedy. Then don't lay it on to the doctor. He's got the remedy. He's got the thing for your inoculation. But it's your stubbornness not to receive it. It wasn't because there wasn't a God in Israel. It wasn't because there was a prophet down there. It was because the king was too stubborn. He hated the prophet. That's what's the matter today. There's satisfaction. They're eating. They're soul and body. It's God in Christ. But the people are too stubborn. They're like Ezekiah of long ago. They want to be modern. They hate the gospel message. That's the reason they die in their sins on the church step. Man sit in the seats in their churches and die in sin because they refuse God's divinity, the Holy Spirit. Not because he's not there, it's because they refuse to recognize it and receive it.